Excitement at Aloha Stadium tonight as the University of Hawaii football team kicked off its first home game of the season in just a few minutes ago. And the fans are out in full force. Elisa Revelo spoke with many of them who aren't just hyped about tonight's game. Elisa? Hey, Kathy. Yes, the Rainbow Warriors kicked off their season opener with a win last week over UMass. And UH fans tell me they're hopeful for another winning season this year. The Bows are back in town, and UH football fans couldn't be happier. <laughs> Six months we've been waiting. Defend Pride Rock, live Aloha. That's all we do. Oh, very excited. Well, we're back, man. It's another year of rainbow football. Folks fired up their grills in anticipation for Saturday's game against Western Carolina. Ribs and lamb shanks and pokey. We're glad that Rolo's back as the coach. The team is enthusiastic and excited, and we think we're going to have a fabulous year. The Rainbow Warriors picked up their first win on the road last week, and fans are hoping to keep the momentum going. Last year was the first year. Hey, it was a decent year. All you can get go is up. That's how I feel because just by watching them um, play, practice, the things I hear on the radio, on the TV, only can get better. Longtime season ticket holders tell me they want to see more wins, but also more support for Hawaii's team. This is the only team we have in the state. I love Rolo. I love the boys. Blood, sweat, and tears. They're going to give their hearts out. I'm going to cheer my hearts out. Hey, every game counts. Every fan counts. The team needs everybody here. But win or lose, these fans say they're in it for the long haul and offer these words to players. I'm optimistic, and, and all, we are optimistic. That's all we can be. And we'll, through tick and tin, good and bad, we're still going to be here. Be passionate, have fun, and keep winning. Stick around. Sam Spangler will have more on the Rainbow Warriors and other college football games later on in sports. Elisa Arevalo, KHON 2 News.